I'm Donna Spindell. This is my daughter, Chloe Spindell. And we are a relentless, tenacious team of a mother-daughter matchmakers that spread love all around the world. What sets me apart from other matchmakers out there is what? Or the Rolls Royce of matchmaking. I am definitely the good cop, where Janice is the bad cop. If you're fat, I'm going to tell you you're fat. I don't have time for nonsense. She does not look her age. No. I've been at this for over 25 years. I've gotten over 2,000 couples married. When I was 10 and 11, I was always going out and about with my mom, listening to women, and realized, oh my goodness, I'm good at this too. We're the best in the entire world at what we do. Our clients are the men. I know what they want, and I know what women do wrong. Men are visual. They fall in love through their eyes. Some want a high S. I have never had anybody ask for a high S. High S, tight butt, same thing. It is a man's world out there. We're just the messengers. So what if you have everything going for you? Looks, career, personality, but you still can't find the right guy? We decided to put Janice and Carly's unconventional style to the test with our guest, Juliet. It's very hard to be vulnerable when you give your heart to someone and they refuse you. It's hard to let yourself be out there again. Welcome to our world of romance. First, uncross your arms. That way you are open. It's always awkward <laughs> this okay? how to sit. This is perfect. Okay. When we met Juliet, I thought pretty, super feminine, an awesome personality as well. You are very lucky that you have what we coin as the four Bs, which is beauty, brains, body, and balance. How many times have you made eye contact with a man or you've smiled at each other and then nothing happens? a lot of times. Because men are intimidated by pretty women and they have a fear of rejection. If you go over and smile and say hello, he's flattered. You have less than 30 seconds to make the first date be your last date. We want women to really exude confidence. I think I'm a nice person. I know there's things that I could work on. What are you wearing on a first date to a nice upscale restaurant? form-fitting dresses mm -hmm. and heels, probably. Any um, specific color? I have a lot of black. I, I... knew you were going to say that. <laughs> have you ever had any cosmetic work done? Um, no. Oh, okay. rare in LA. And how do you feel about pets? Do you have any? Oh, I love dogs. I absolutely love dogs. I have an allergy to cats. Yeah. Most yeah. men um, shouldn't have cats anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with but a man that has I a just... cat. The expression, a dog is a man's best friend, is a reality. I'm sorry, men with cats are weird. Why do you think you're single? There's really not much of a dating pool out there in my age. I have so many friends from church, but they're, they're young. I don't want to feel like anyone's mother. When you're single, you have to be out and about. So the fact that Juliet is not out as much as she can be kind of is a strike against her. So what we do from here is we update your profile. You will get an email from us, and then we will take it from there. Okay, great, thank you. We're now joined by the mother-daughter matchmaking duo, Janice and Carly Spindell, along with Juliet. And Juliet, I wanna start with you. Hi. So <laughs> what did you learn from that meeting? I have a tendency to wait for men to come to me. If I see someone looking at me, I'm kind of old school. I want them to come approach me and I realize I have to be more bold and I have to get out there and talk to them. But just so I understand, the way your guys' service works is you primarily your clients are primarily men. Mm -hmm. yes. They come to you, they pay you a fee, which is, yes. can I ask how much the typical cost is? My fees start at 50,000 up front and they go up to a million dollars. Carly's what? fees start And is this basically a man saying, look, find me a partner? Yes. We are doing the vetting and the editing for the men that we deal with who are very busy and believe in outsourcing. I think what we're getting to here though is why it can be so difficult to find the right match. Because I look at Juliet, and you are lovely. Thanks. And you know what? You, you are. You, and you can tell that you're very shy. That. And I get all that. And I think in today's dating world, shy people can finish last.